All right, everybody, welcome back. All right, so let's start setting this up. Uh, doo -doo, let's move this back. So in player damage, uh, we can just say uh, occur HP uh, minus equals. Uh, I don't want to do that. Equals occur HP minus damage. Oh, is that it? No, there's more to it than just this, because we have to take a look and see if, like, oh, are you super heavy infantry? Are you heavy infantry? Because that's some things that I never, um... Because, like, we're just doing... Seeing as how the first character is going to be the troop choice, which is the guardsman squad, he's just, like, light infantry is going to take full damage from anything, from everything anyway. Um, and, like, you know, uh... Like, there will be damage modifiers. Like, if you're heavy infantry, you take... What was it? I think I put down, like, 60% of damage. And if you're super heavy infantry, you take, like, um... 40% of damage. And even then, there are damage modifiers, like, uh... Melta guns, plasma guns, plasma, which, do, which does, um... Plasma guns. Last cannons, which do, uh... Instant death, and, uh... Same goes with the Melta guns, and all that other good jazz. But that's, uh... But that's neither here nor there. So here... We want to say, in melee attack, we want to say, um, if is attacking equals false and can attack equals true. Why? Well, if we're, we don't want to be attacking while we are attacking while we're attacking. We, we don't want that, so... Okay. Mm. It's attacking. Yeah. Huh. I'm sure it'll, like, uh... I'm sure it's nothing. I'll take a look at that later. Anyway. So, let's do this. We wanna... Say, we wanna say, is attacking... equals... equals... True. Okay, seriously, why are you... Control C, Control V, whatever. And we want to play the animation montage. To do that, we want to say, play, add a montage. And this, it's going to be looking for a specific anim montage that we've created. In this case, it will be action montage. Uh... Float play rate, we're just going to say 1.f. Uh, and finally, we want to just say, I used to know what the name none actually means. I completely forgot. I'll double check into that later. Name underscore none. Now we want a semicolon this. So what happens if it's attacking? Well, if is attacking is true, we stop the character movement altogether. We'll handle that in the blueprint area. And we'll handle how we can set is attacking is false. Um, yeah, later on, like in the actual anim blueprint, uh, anim blueprint when we set all of that up. So with grenade tosser, we gotta basically do the same thing. So if, well, you can actually shoot a grenade while you're moving. So can attack equals true. And we also want to set this to, uh, we also want to set can attack to false while they're doing that. Shouldn't we set can attack equal to uh, is attacking? Well, can attack has, it has to do its own thing too, so we can't necessarily set it, uh, we can't set it to equal is attacking. It has to do its own thing. Anyway. So, uh, we want to say, can attack, and why is there, why did I put a fucking semicolon there? Doug, you fucking moron. Uh, we want to say, can attack equals false, and we'll have a little, fun we'll have a custom event that basically resets everything, and we want to play, and in montage, and we want to say, uh, grenade montage, I think I called it, yeah. Play rate of one. Point F, name, underscore none. Man, this is a long tutorial. I know, right? 
So sprint. Uh, get something real fast. Ah, is it this one? No. Oh yeah, this is my yeah because I got my license renewed, or at least my new one came in the mail yesterday. Yoink. Alright, so <coughs> here's where one of the applications of can attack comes into play. Because while you're sprinting, you can't shoot, you can't do anything. So we have to say can attack. We have to set that to false. Wow. False. False. Okay, done. Alright, so now what we want to do to activate the sprint, we can set its max walk speed, but like it's just easier to do this. Add movement input, and we just want to say, uh, alright, no, no, not add movement input. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not add movement input. We want to get the character movement. Get character movement. And you have to do this because get character movement is a function and it's also, and it's also a function pointer, so we have to do this. And we want to set, we want to basically set the, ma we want to multiply the max walk speed by two. So max walk speed multiplied by uh, multiplied by oh times equals two, boom. I think get character movement. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Sprint off. Oh, and we want to say sprinting is on. Is sprinting? We want to set that equal to true. And that is that. Sprint off, we want to can attack. That's going to equal false. Uh, is sprinting equals false? Can attack has to, yeah, I know, can attack has to be true. True. And get character movement. max walk speed divided equals two. What's that? Did I not spell it properly? Hmm. I expected up. Ah. I didn't fuck. Sorry, I'm thinking like I didn't spell it properly. I didn't fucking put a damn semicolon. Okay. Uh, Dodger. What did I set Dodger as? Dodge is a space bar, right? Ooh, yeah. Oh, shit. Jump. Um. Uh. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, so you can still do that with. I don't care about the, those other buttons. We're not going to bother with that. Uh, let's go back in here, and we have to go to the player input uh, input bind components. Make sure that jump is commented out. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Jump. Sorry, dude. Fuck you, jump. There is no jump. Jump does not exist. Uh, Dodger, we're just going to play. I'm gonna build, I'll build this later. Find out what those errors are. Uh, Dodger, we're just gonna say, uh, is attacking. And we're gonna set that to true. So wait, we're gonna stop the character movement? Yeah, because it'll, don't worry, the animantas will basically launch the character. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but blah, 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 blah. What else are we gonna do? Can attack equals false. Boom. We want to play and a montage, and this will be dodge montage. Yep. Play rate of one point f. Name underscore none. Wow, I cannot. I can't English. Also, we want to make sure that 
if nope if is heavy no is uh, is heavy support equals false oh really yeah heavy support can't do that really yeah why because but heavy support squad's gonna be carrying a fucking heavy bolter by default they can't sprint in that shit nor can they sprint. Oh, yeah, actually, they can't sprint in that, so I really should do that as well. If heavy support equals false. Well, sprint off, that won't matter because you're already stopping the sprint. If is heavy support. Is heavy support equals false. Can Ogren sprint? I don't think so. I gotta double check that. That, it's been years since I've seen, like, I've never, I actually haven't read the new Militarum Codex. I haven't read it in forever, so. Uh, Reloader. Uh, uh, if is heavy support. Really? They can't reload? No, why would they need to reload? They got a fucking gun belt. Well, at least there's that. Yeah, but they need to set up and shit. Ow. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I kind of called it the... Okay, hold on. Uh, can attack equals false. That's why I kind of set it up so that way... That's why I kind of set action montage. Ow, oh, okay, yeah. Um, play and a montage. In the montage, we're gonna play. Oh, right, and I gotta do. Fa well. Depends on the fast attack. It depends on the. Because Hellblaster. Well, I'll, I'll, whatever. Like, let's just do the reload montage. 1.f. Name. Underscore. None. Because I, I have to factor in. Well, we'll deal with that later. Uh, uh, crouch. Mm. Heavy support can't crouch. Aiming on. We'll deal with that later. Because we have to actually build it. Well, let's build this now and see what happens. So we're at the tail end of this tutorial. And I want to see what those errors are. You can... Huh? Really? Does it not use? Is it, does the first person template not use the same character moving component? Huh. At the end of the world? Not really. Let's see if it's... Dot? Get character movement. Dot. No. Really? That's weird. Huh. Did I use that for ninjas versus robots? Maybe they use a different movement component? At the end of, well, like I said, you, well, you said it's not the end of the world. No, it's not. Let's just get rid of this. If sprinting is set to true, we could just set the walk speed. Yeah, we can just set, like, we can, yeah, we'll just set the max walk speed in the NMVP and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's weird. Use of you character. Huh. That's super strange. Because I hate, I literally used get character move, um, what? Why is it whining about is attacking? Let's see. If is attacking, 
equals false and can attack equals true then and where is what is that uh, let's just build whenever it's giving you that that means it, it, yeah why did I take you there well if you have um if you have errors anywhere, it's just gonna, like, that's just gonna, it's going to complain like that. So, don't, don't, you don't necessarily have to worry about that. Maybe I, maybe I misspelled it? Or maybe I put it, I don't know, who cares? <laughs> uh, whatever. Like, it's done. What's done is done and can't be, and, and has been undone. Crouch will take care of another, uh, um, when we actually get to that uh, movement state, same goes with uh, same goes with sp same goes with sprint. That's weird because like get character movement is usually what like is literally what I use for ninjas versus robots. You um, multiply it by two and then you divide it by two. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, in aiming on, aiming off, we'll take care of that in the character in the actual character blueprint. Um, because ogrens don't iron sight aim, nor do, um, nor do terminators or, uh, obliterators, because they're, they don't necessarily need to, because they just point their weapon and whatever's in front of them fucking dies. Uh, and, yeah, I think that about, this is a good po uh, way to end part one, uh, yeah. So, what will the fire? When will we actually start to fire? Like I said, let's let's say hypothetically I finish the AI tomorrow. Uh, then we focus on vehicles. Um, then we focus on the projectiles because of that. Well, player abilities, which also entails projectiles, um, because we got to do the, like the las guns, bolters. What kind of bolters are they cracking? Are they cracking vengeance rounds? Um, that whole deal, and we're gonna have to start differentiating these classes by this one class. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, like, this class, like, if we, um, uh, let's go here. We export this, we create a blueprint class of this, right? This is going to include all of the Imperial, uh, Imperial, uh, Astro Militarum infantry types. Then we could have another folder for the Space Marines, another folder for the Chaos Space Marines, and another folder for the, uh, Necrons, and they'll just take, take in this one character in each of those folders. The reason why I attached the, uh, the reason why you saw so many like static mesh components, calico mesh components, is because those classes are all gonna be in there. Oh shit. Yeah. And we can just toggle the visibility on and off. off. And this is a great way for the friendly AI to basically say, mm, okay, I see that guy, that guy's not of the player, and then we also have to do player replication, etc., etc. So, like, this is a good way to end part one. You should end with that apology. Yes, 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 you're absolutely right. <clears throat> see, I owe uh, uh, a certain uh, Reddit uh, an apology. You see, I accidentally, see, I came out and said, hey, I'm coming out with uh, the friendly AI tutorial that's coming out this Friday, or rather today. Please have Unreal Engine 4.26 and C++ available. People then, um... So I basically thought it was a waste that I was wasting time or at least trying to, to, to hype. Um, um, uh, see, I was under the presumption that uh, those that actually follow what I, um, the tutorials of Doom, uh, you know, they're not uh, exactly, how do I put this? Like they're still new to C++ and new to Unreal Engine. I didn't know I was uh, 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 talking to a group uh, like, I really shouldn't have posted there because, like, everyone in, uh, in those subreddits are basically, you know, 100%. Uh, they know all the C++, all of Unreal Engine. Yeah, Doug, you are one presumptuous douchebag. I know, right? I mean, God, it's not like I'm a teacher or anything, a very good teacher. Um, I just wanted to, you know, uh, like, teach people how to C++ and how to friendly AI. Two things that usually are very, very secretive. Like, you can't really find many good... 
um, uh, tutorials around this kind of subject matter. Ah, oh, man. And I'm just all like, let me try to say that. And in order for the preparations of Doom to happen, you know, this would be a good way to say, get ready with 4.26 and get ready with C++. But, yeah, there I am trying to be a, a nice per. Oh, that's, there I am trying to, like, just say, you know, I didn't know I was uh, talking to all the. I didn't know like posting in those would offend those that would that are just 100% masters of C++ and they know the ins and outs of Unreal Engine like the back of their hand. <sighs> For that, I am sorry, you fucking douchebags. Honestly, if you're gonna just come jump down my throat, go fuck yourself. <laughs> End it here, narrator. And there you have it, game designers and boppers and boppers. Yes. Because they're, they're 40k crowd of boppers. Tune in next time for Doug Teaches. Um, when? So what? It'll be next week. I will make a solemn vow. Because next Friday I have to have a meeting with said uh, school that wants me to help them out with their game design curriculum. I will try to come out with part two where we start to... Because... I have the Krieg unit. Um, hold on, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go. I'll just import here. Do 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 do. Do ba do boop. Uh, fuck. Oh damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh whatever. Um, I'll uh, import because uh, um, I have a Krieg unit. I scored a Krieg unit. Um, well, I keep saying Krieg unit. Uh, either way, like um. We'll start setting up the anim graphs, the anim, uh, that whole deal, and we'll have the AI start to do what we want it to do. I'm going to try to come out with two tutorial videos, one on Tuesday and one on Friday. I will make that solemn vow right now. Um, hopefully I won't, hopefully I won't, um, yeah, I was watching Game Gro yeah, excuse me for watching Aaron Rage, uh, Aaron Rage Gross. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just like uh like rage compilations of Aaron from Game Grumps because that that makes my day. Anyway, um, so I will try to I will make this solemn vow: two videos. Just, just that, that's the only time. Like these, this is the one time where I'm gonna be doing. It. I'm not gonna like spam this because that's a, this is gonna be a huge time commitment. So the the next video on Tuesday we will see we'll um, see the Krieg unit. We're gonna move him around and then we'll have the AI companions actually follow us and then on Friday um, Friday we will tell the AI to go to a specific spot because here's what's gonna happen by the end of this AI tutorial series the AI will follow us it'll go to a specific spot and wait it can hold position we'll tell it to form up and we will tell it to shoot at a random uh, at like a uh, um, who we designate as random duder via like a, either ranged stance or we can assault them and do a melee attack thing. So there's all that. Keep that in mind. So, um, uh, yeah. So, there you have it. Later, game developers and boppers. Yes.